It doesn't flush, but we have a toilet. Like literally, we have a toilet and then we have a shower. My mom was a crackhead, okay? I'm, I'm actually a crack baby. My boyfriend and I, we had a lot of trouble. We, we couldn't find a place to stay. I've been in and out of AA since 86. You know, I just crossed the line, you know. I, I was a drug addict. We got out of a juvenile prison, basically, and my mom just didn't care. My dad didn't want me back. Going through being homeless, getting, getting housing, being homeless, getting housing. There's not that many slots open for, for a person to, to find a place to stay. Um, and I think one of the biggest issues is when a person's at the point that they want to put their life together. And of course, you know, there's that good old saying, oh, just get a job. Um, but I'm here to tell you, it's very difficult to get a job if you can't take a shower. It's very hard to get a job if you've been sleeping out in, in, on the ground. It's hard to keep yourself presentable to even go for an interview because you have, you don't, it's so stressful. You know, like if I do get a job, you know, now how am I going to get back and forth? How am I going to keep bus fare? How am I going to get there? Then once I get out, where am I going to sleep? One of the things that uh, I found out uh, fairly early in the game is that uh, hunger is not a big issue for our city's homeless people. Um, I uh, would hand out sandwiches and they certainly would, would eat them, but as time went by I realized that there were many great ministries focused on food, but at the same time what became very, very apparent is the big issue is shelter and having a place to stay. The role that Rock of Hope plays is we're that step, that, that final leg of the tour where you are getting prepared to go out and live on your own. Our goal is to purchase uh, fairly inexpensive housing, rehabilitate it, and then uh, be able to uh, have at least four people, which is by city code. Today we're reconstructing the deck here on our house on Battery Street. It was in pretty sad shape when we bought the property, and uh, we've got some find volunteers that are helping us put it back together. This is uh, the house that uh, we are uh, rehabbing on Chester Street and this is designed to be a women's house. It's a nice house. I like it a lot. Uh, still a little, just a little bit of work still needs to be done on it. But um, I'm excited. I can't wait till we get people in there. It's a four bedroom and they're working really hard on the house. This room in here was actually painted a dark blue. Here's uh, our application for the program, and uh, I'm assuming you still want to want to come in. Absolutely. So this as far as the process is concerned, uh, we have a an application, um, and that application asks for a lot of information, um, and we encourage people to tell us everything because we do do background checks. The thing I'm most excited about that we're doing in Rock of Hope is that uh, we plan to have champions and, and a champion is not the same thing as a mentor. A champion is somebody who's in your corner and cares about you and wants to be able to help you to make it. They won't help. A lot of them just don't know where to get help or how to get help. Things as simple as getting a new ID. I had no idea how hard that is to do. Um, things such as getting a birth certificate so you can get an ID. Well, three months before my birthday, my mom uh, said that I tried to push her out in front of a car. Never did such a thing. All I did was ask her for a cigarette. And then I spent 60 days in jail because of that false accusation. When I got out, my mom would not give me my birth certificate, my social security card, my uh, diploma. Most people out here nowadays are looking for people to have faith in and believe in them. 
you know, have confidence and give them the opportunity to try, at least try. Oh, I would love for Rock of Hope to grow and succeed and, and just become perhaps a, a, a pattern, a pattern that lots of people could follow and help more and more of these people. I, I think that so many of them just need a hand up and, may, and not a hand out, just a hand up. There's nothing more exciting when you see these friends blossom. It, it is tremendous when they get that job. It's just, I can't tell you how exciting it is when they have that first paycheck. I would enjoy to, to join Rock of Hope because it sounds like a very good asset to my life. Um, a very good beginning to a very, very good end. When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, He will sit on His throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before Him and He will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison or go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did, for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire, fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? He will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment but the righteous to eternal life.